Registered Phenomena Code A34 Object Class Gamma Black Hazard Types Radiation Hazard Ecological Hazard Containment Protocols An exclusion zone has been established in a 4km radius around RPC-834. This is designated OL Site-834 and is to be referred to as the Heinrichsen Olsen Exclusion Zone when deterring civilians from the site. Personnel entering RPC-834 must wear either an Authority Standard Hazardous Material Suit or similar suit with a mop level of 4 to prevent radiation exposure. Swedish and Authority decontamination crews are to decontaminate the area affected by RPC-834 on a daily basis. Decontamination crews are to use standard chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear CVRN decontamination procedures and are to utilize portable and vehicle-mounted decontamination equipment. All instances of RPC-834-1 are to be either sent to Site-002 for study or neutralized on-site depending on hostility. As of October 31, 2011, all personnel in OL Site-834 are to be equipped with an incendiary weapon of their choosing. Description. RPC-834 is a 2km forested area in the province of Sweden. RPC-834 produces radiation via unknown means. RPC-834 is observed to spread at a rate of 5 meters per week if not decontaminated on a daily basis. Daily decontamination does not stop the spread of RPC-834, but instead delays it to an observed speed of 1 mm per month. Radiation produced by RPC-834 causes significant genetic changes in local flora and fauna. Humans have been found to be immune to this mutagenic effect, with radiation emitted behaving identically to normal radiation. Organisms found mutated by RPC-834 are to be referred to as RPC-834-1. Instances of RPC-834-1 tend to be hostile with few exceptions. Discovery RPC-834 was discovered on January 27, 2008 when the Swedish government observed high radiation levels in an area 10 km from Sweden. Due to the sudden appearance of this radiation, a survey of the area was conducted by the Swedish military. When no uranium deposits were found, Authority agents were contacted. A joint containment operation was subsequently put into place. In order to give a cover for containment, a non-functional nuclear power plant was constructed and then detonated via controlled demolition. Addendum. The following is a list detailing all mutated specimens observed within RPC-834. Date, base organism, mutation observed. April 27, 2009 European Hornet Grew to 46 cm in length. Found to be non-hostile. As of December 9, 2010, Proven to be tameable and as intelligent as an average domestic dog. One specimen currently kept for personal companion testing by researcher Peterson at Site-002. April 27, 2009 Grey Wolf Saliva pH decreased to 2. Teeth finely sharpened. Bite force increased to 2600 PSI. Found to be highly aggressive. May 1, 2009 Red Deer Antler increased in both size and sharpness. Coat thickened. Females acquired short antlers. No change of behavior was observed. It is assumed the mutation of the red deer was to defend from mutated wolf attacks. July 13, 2009 Unknown plant. Size increased significantly. Carnivorous traits manifested as well as the capacity for movement. Found to be hostile. Was frequently attacked by mutated hornets. December 24, 2009 Oceanic white tip shark Developed freshwater breathing along with an alternative to ram ventilation. It is unknown how the original specimen entered RPC-834. January 7, 2010 Chimpanzee Developed the ability to walk bipedally. Intelligence increased exponentially. IQ testing showed an average score of 100. Found to be fluent in Swedish. Currently living at Site-002, named large by Authority personnel. Specimen entered RPC-834 after breaking out of a local zoo. May 29, 2010 Ostrich Developed sharp teeth and a reptilian appearance. 
aggression was unchanged, brought the exclusion zone for testing on avians. October 31, 2011 See Incident Log 834-07 Incident Log 834-07 Date October 31, 2011 A large instance of RPC-834-1 was found within RPC-834. The creature was approximately 4 meters tall and appeared to be composed of multiple animals including a it was bipedal and had multiple features including wings, multiple set of claws, hands with opposable thumbs, tentacles, and pointed teeth. It was first spotted attacking a group of Swedish CBRN operators. Authority decontamination personnel witnessed the event and ran to acquire a weapon and to contact site security. The creature followed, killing two Authority agents in his pursuit. One Authority decontamination officer obtained a flamethrower and proceeded to attack the creature with it. The creature fled, obtaining a Swedish CBRN operator's rifle while retreating. Swedish CBRN operators managed to create crude incendiary devices to attack the creature with. The creature fired the rifle it had picked up earlier, killing two Swedish operators. The remaining Swedish CBRN operators threw their incendiary devices at the creature, starting a large fire. The creature proceeded to drag two Swedish operators into the fire and then charged the remaining few, killing them before succumbing to its injuries.